All right, this morning we are canning up some green beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill one of these jars. I don't need the funnel right now because I'm just putting green beans in there. So I'm really gonna pack these guys in here. I prepared and washed them last night. So I thoroughly, I cut off all the bad spots. I got rid of any green beans that didn't look um, like I wanted to can them. And then I kept them out so that they wouldn't be ice cold when we did this. I'm getting a little crazy with these green beans, man. I'm throwing them everywhere. But I am going to literally shove green beans wherever I can. Well, that my hands can tolerate because this jar is super hot. So the jar has been in my oven at 200 degrees, keeping nice and warm. I have a kettle of distilled water that's been boiling and keeping warm. And this is raw packing green beans. You can blanch them first, but I feel like that will just overcook them. These will process um, for pint jars, will process for 20 minutes. Quartz would process for 25. But not everybody in the house loves green beans, so I don't want to make big jars and then they go to waste. So if we decide we need want more for whatever reason, then I can just take two jars, but I'm not gonna have these green beans go to waste. These were these are yummy. Okay, so I think that's about all I can pack in there. Maybe I can slide this guy back here. Tony, I'm really packing these in here. And they're nice and hearty, so they, they are not getting broken or anything. All right. So I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of canning salt. Pour some boiling distilled water over here. Do one inch headspace because we are pressure canning. Poke the tool and take all the bubbles out. Really shove these guys in here. worried about breaking them up because they are super strong they'll be fine more worried about the bubbles and getting these yeah. okay cool so take my vinegar clean off the rim real nice back here and get my lid that's been sitting in warm water Yeah, they're kind of hot, so I probably should have used my lifter to put them in there. But I've been cooking for a long time. My hands are asbestos, but asbestos hands. So we'll just go ahead and fill another jar. The green beans from my yard probably will not fill. Ouch. Now oh, that was hot its own jar um, but I still kind of wanted to keep them separate because you know they're from my yard and that's kind of cool this might be my last jar of just the farm market green beans Ooh boy, that's hot. I'm shoving them in there without burning myself. This guy is super big. I don't know if we can just slide them down there. Yep. So you can see I'm really packing these babies in here. We don't want them floating all to the top. Thought I did with my tomatoes and it didn't actually come out. I'm still I'm still irritated about that. But they're fine. They're still going to be eaten. All right. 
it, so I think this is the last guy. Okay. Oh, maybe a couple more. Okay. A quarter teaspoon of canning salt. Some boiling distilled water that to one inch head space. Pokey tool. And really get the air bubbles out. It's a solid food, so you want to make sure you go around. I'm gonna hold on to the lid because I can't, it's hot. Probably not going to be a real long video because, I mean, it's pretty simple. Put green beans in jar, put jar in canner. Green beans process for 20 minutes for pints. If this were a quart, it would process for 25. I'm going to fit another one over here. Clean off the rim. Get a lid. Get a ring. Bring it too tight. So right now I got four pints. Four pints. I might only be able to get one more between the farm market green beans, and then mine. So I will bring it back when the canner is getting ready to, before I'm getting ready to put the lid on the canner and get it going. So I got five pints out of there. Um, that's actually more than I thought I was gonna get. So I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the beer maker. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the the lid on, crank it up, and get it so the steam is coming out. You know, normal canning steps. Um, these will process, like I said, for 20 minutes. And then we'll have some yummy farm fresh green beans. The one back there, I put a little mark on the lid because those have the green beans from my yard at the top. I, I, they were frozen before. I'm not quite sure about them, so I wanted to make sure I identified them. I don't know how they're going to do in there, but I guess we'll see. So, anyway, we'll get this going and have this process for 20 minutes. Since we're waiting for the um, vent or the steam to vent out, I thought I'd give the puppy a cameo. This is what he does when we come outside to go potty. He um, finds something like a stick and I'll chew on that. Anything besides actually going potty. So,. He's very much a handful, seven-month-old black lab, but he's my baby. He's just kind of a pain right now. Gunner, stop it. So my timer went off for um, venting, so I'm going to go ahead and put my weight on, and we will wait for this to come up to 11 pounds of pressure, and then I will start my timer. When I was talking about having to restart the time in uh, pressure canning chipotle chicken, I noticed I failed to say that if you drop under the pressure that your area requires, you need to wait for it to get back up to that temperature and then restart the time. Um, I didn't really make that clear, so I just wanted to clarify that. So if I were to drop under 11 pounds of pressure after starting the timer, I would have to wait for it to get back up to that pressure and then restart the time. So I just wanted to make sure that was clear. But we'll get this to 11 pounds of pressure and then start the timer for 20 minutes. Since we're waiting for it to get up to pressure, I thought I'd show my tomatoes after they've been cleaned and put in this, um, this box and I've labeled them. What I have done is put the ones with the worst siphoning in front so that they will be used first. So like the one on the left is the worst and then they gradually get um, less as they go on so I can make sure that I'll use this guy first. Um, I mean, 
they still look great. I, I, I can't be too hard on myself about it. You know, I followed the directions. Um, it just It just happened. So it is what it is. What I have decided with the other tomatoes is today on my lunch break, I'm going to go ahead and blanch them to take the skins off. And then I'm going to put them in a crock pot. And I'm going to let them cook in the crock pot for the rest of my work day and make it into a sauce. Um, I'll blend them down. I'll get them nice and smooth. And then I'll can the tomato sauce probably tomorrow morning. Um, but I think I had enough. I mean, seven quarts of tomatoes is great. So I thought I wanted to do something a little different with the other ones. So that is what I have decided that I'm going to do. So I am just waiting for this canner to get to 11 pounds of pressure before I can start the time. So the timer went off um, after the two minutes after I took my weight off. I did that after the safety valve back there dropped and the pressure was at zero. I very carefully lifted the lid away from me. And as you can see, I've kind of put it a little skewed on top of the canner. I'm going to let it sit like this for at least five minutes. Um, and then I'll take the whole lid off and then let it sit for at least another five minutes before pulling them out. Um, I'm, I'm determined to figure out this siphoning thing. And maybe this is it. I have no idea. But we will try it and we will see what happens. So the timer went off um, for these sitting. I let them sit five minutes with the lid cracked. Then I removed the lid and let them sit an additional 10 minutes um, just to make sure that they go, that they um, acclimate to the room temperature okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. But from what I can see, I think these were pretty good. Look at that. No floating green beans. I'm so excited. These look great. Now let's hope we don't get all that siphoning. Um, I hopefully gave them enough time to acclimate that they won't. And, but I still will make sure that I cover them with a hand towel so that they will not cool too quickly. Last one. This is the one with my green beans in there. They look okay. Um, I'll still make sure when it, I go to open the jar that those green beans on the top, which are from my garden, um, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm sure they're fine, but I just want to be cautious. So anyhow, look at these beautiful green beans. I'm so excited. They look great. They're not all floating. So far, I haven't lost any liquid, but I'll go ahead and put the um, hand towel over them just to make sure that they don't cool too quickly, but this looks like a successful canning session. I'm super thrilled. Now we have five pints of green beans to put on the shelves. I am super happy about that. So yay, maybe that's the trick. Letting it sit for five minutes with the lid cracked, then 10 minutes with the lid off. So I'll keep trying that and we'll see how it goes. But hope you enjoyed. Have a great Tuesday. And tomorrow morning, hopefully I will be uh, canning up the tomato sauce and I'll get that video up soon. So have a great day.